So my second year in business, I made some decisions based off some things that happened to me. So at the time, I was a one-man band, doing everything myself. I was overloaded, to tell you the truth. And some local business owners, I think there were three of them. I think one passed away. He was an older man. Another one got sick, and then another one passed away. So there are three companies that just disappeared, all in my area. And my phone started ringing off the hook with new customers. I think I had like 20, 30 customers within a month span that called me who I had never heard from before. And they were just looking online, and looking for referrals, and came up with my name. So unfortunately, I did not have the resources within my company to be able to take advantage of all those customers. So right then and there, I decided I needed to build a bigger net so that when these opportunities came up, which they will again, I will be more prepared to take advantage of the opportunity. The trade gap within the HVACR industry is massive. And it's just beginning. Most of the people in this trade are 50 plus years old, which means most of the workforce in the HVACR trade is going to disappear within the next 10 to 15 years. There's going to be a massive void of technicians and companies out there to be able to handle the volume of buildings that require HVAC refrigeration. It's just inevitable. It's going to happen again. So I decided with that understanding that I was going to build a net, meaning a team of technicians that were highly qualified, highly professional, highly educated, efficient, great team and I was going to put all my energy into building that team. And that's the decision I made two years into my business. I'm now in year number six and I have a team of qualified technicians. All I do every day with my time, 70% of my time day to day goes into training my technicians and training them and showing them how to do their job and teaching them and making it better. I, I do trainings in the morning. I drive around to job sites to teach them. Extreme, every day I do this. Every day I put time into my guys to make them better and more professional. In my area, what I've noticed with other companies is they don't have a qualified team. They don't put the time into their guys. They, they hire a kid that doesn't know what they're doing, throw them in the van, send them out on service calls. End result, customers are unhappy, they call me or someone like me. They find another company, they ditch the company with the inexperienced technicians that can't fix anything, they can't supply the product efficiently with value. So if you can build a professional team, a competent team, an educated team, and keep them and retain them, keep them happy, keep them motivated, you're inevitably going to do well. You're going to increase your capacity. You're going to increase your revenue. You're going to increase your customer list. And you're going to have more free time because when you're a one-man band, you got to turn every single wrench. you got to put every single screw in. you got to fix every single piece of equipment. You can only fix so much in a day. You can only install so much in one day. So how are you going to scale that's the question. So how I chose to scale is what I'm going to teach you in these videos. And I'm going to provide live action updates on our struggles, on our systems that we're putting into place to solve our problems, to handle the growth, to handle the volume. I'm going to teach you exactly how I accomplish all of this in a step-by-step -step way as I learn as I grow, as I develop systems, I'm going to teach you everything that I've learned the hard way, and I'm going to make it easy for you. I'm going to provide all this information to you so you can hopefully get to this point a lot quicker than I did. It took me three years to actually start implementing these things in my business, and I didn't have anybody telling me what they experienced. I didn't have anybody telling me 
how they solve their problems, how they solve their growing pains. So I'm gonna make these videos as I go along in my business to show you exactly how I grew it. And I hope that it helps you as well.